the 911 call from Michelle Sabate has been released. The following conversation contains adult themes, explicit language, and threats of going to the attic. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you for calling 911. My name is Jason. How can I help you today? I am the I'm sorry, lady. I can't hear you. Could you please speak louder? Did you just say that you were the devil? <laughs> I am the devil. Hello, devil lady. How can I help you today? Fear me, fear me, I'm the devil. <laughs> Please don't scare me, devil lady. I don't want to have bad dreams tonight. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm happy that you are having a fun time, but this is serious stuff. For the last time, what is your emergency? I am the most sought-after, stalked person on YouTube. Legit. You poor, touched soul. I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you in danger at this very moment? Like, are you currently being stalked as we speak? They have gone so real life on me that I've had the police called at my house three times. Did you just say that the police have been called on you three times? That's just horrible. It gets worse. I've been stalked at restaurants. I've been stalked at Bed Bath & Beyond. People are calling the stores that I'm at. Having cops try to arrest me for having two glasses of wine, eating sushi, blah, 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 blah. Like, these people are like crazy. Are you sure that you weren't just imagining all of this? Were you drinking at all? I was drinking. I was drinking. I was pissed and I was drinking. Sometimes, when grown-ups drink, they get really paranoid or even angry. They're legitimately looking at paint colors in sushi restaurants that I'm eating at, going on like Yelp, looking at the inside of the restaurants, matching paint colors to walls, and calling police on me at the restaurants I'm at. Why in the world would people be following you all over town? Because I have mental problems. No shit. First off, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself tenfold. Please refrain from using bad words. You're starting to sound like my really, really old and cranky grandma. Please don't give me disrespect. I'm sorry, old lady. I just don't understand why people would be out to get you. Um, because people want to sabotage my channel. Because they're jealous, I'm doing well, and my subs are really starting to take care of me with cash apps because they believe in me. So you can believe me, or you can't believe me. I don't give a shit. Then why did you call 911? To be honest, this is a waste of my time. This line is dedicated for those who seek emergency services. You just sound like someone who has no friends and needed somebody to vent to. I would love to kick your fucking ass. Do you understand? I would love to beat the ever-loving shit out of you. Beat you so bad that you can't get up off the fucking ground. Now listen to me, old lady. I will not tolerate that sort of behavior. Now, I understand that you are distraught, but that is no reason to threaten me. I didn't say I'm going to. I said I would love to beat the ever-loving fucking shit out of you. That still sounds like a threat to me. If you continue to threaten me, I will have no choice but to dispatch a patrol car to your house. And it looks like I have an officer about 12 minutes out from your current location. Really? Really? Okay, bitch. Here's your challenge, you fucking piece of shit hot bag of wind. If I'm 12 minutes from you, and you want to come kick my teeth in, and if you feel froggy, jump, bitch. Jump, jump, jump. What in the heck are you talking about? I'm not coming over to your house. I told you, if you continue to threaten me, I'm sending a patrol car over. Listen, bitch. Whoever the fuck you are, this is to you. Whoever the fuck you are, you're 12 minutes away from me. So apparently you have my address. I work for 911. Of course I have your address, you silly goose. You've got my address. If you feel froggy, bitch, jump. 
Are your hearing aids working? Because I already told you that I'm not coming over to your house to play. I'll be dispatching the nearest local or state police. You really think the state police are going to come to my house, you fucking idiot? You fucking moron. You live 12 minutes away from me. What's stopping you, bitch? Were you dropped on your soft spot when you were a baby? For the last time, I'm not coming over to your house. The police are. Because you're not going to do shit, bitch. You're not going to do shit, bitch. You're clinically insane. I don't know how many more ways I can explain this to you. I'm not coming over to your house. If you have balls enough to breach my electric security gate to come on my property that has a no trespassing sign, if you have balls enough to do that, to walk up my driveway, if you can make it to the top of my driveway, period, and when you knock on my door, when you knock on my door, this is a stand your own ground state. Do you understand that? You will leave my house in a fucking body bag. I'll be sure to relay that message to the officers en route. Yeah, you best be careful, bitch. You're getting docs. First, middle, last name, date of birth, your address, kids, everything. If you don't calm down, I'm afraid that I will have to hang up and send a patrol car over. I don't have the energy to listen to another one of your temper tantrums. I've got a little bit of a temper. And over the years, I've actually learned how to control it. If you'd like, I can give you the number to a therapist in your area. <coughs> it's okay to be touched in the head. It's important that we get you some help immediately. <coughs> can you please tell me what's really bothering you today? You're in a semi-safe place. It's okay if you want to open up to me. This conversation is 80% private. I've got a $2,000 electric bill. That's a lot of money. I'm surprised that your power hasn't been cut off yet. And how does a utility company let you not pay your bill for a fucking year and let it get up to $2,000? I think the right question to ask would be, why didn't you pay your electric bill in two whole years? I don't have a lot of money. I really don't have a lot of money, okay? I haven't worked since, like, 2016. Well, maybe it's time for you to get off of your lazy ass and get a job. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of work did you used to do? I was an escort, and I own that. I made $500 an hour. I made $10,000 a month. How do you like them apples, girl? Why don't you just dust off your no-no parts and go make a few bucks so that you can pay your bills? I'm not that person anymore. I haven't done that in forever. I don't want to go back and do that. That's like foreign to me. That's like a different life. Well, it seems like you don't have any other choice. Perhaps it's time for you to scrub and disinfect your moneymaker, update all of your shots, and get your Lady of the Night license reinstated. I can get an escort license in Cobb County, Georgia, which is Atlanta. It is legal. See, I knew that if you put your back into it, you'd have no problem earning the money that you need to pay your bills. Who knew that laying down on the job was such a bad thing? If you don't mind me asking, what was the name of your secret identity? Taylor Love, baby doll. I'll Google it. Oh my goodness. How do you like that? Are you jelly? I don't know if I'm looking at an Arby's roast beef commercial or one of your naughty pictures. Damn, that's some good <laughs> That kitty looks like it went a few rounds with Mike Tyson. Why is it so angry? Have you even looked at your kitty recently? Seriously, it looks like the sleeve of a wizard's cloak. I know everybody would pay money to see it. Mm. 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 Have you actually seen it lately? Please take a moment to check and see how it's doing. Oh, God. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. I have to go get some air freshener. No shit. I legit am about to throw up and I need air freshener. Take your time. 
that Kitty needs some serious medical attention. Unfortunately, I don't think that I can dispatch a biohazard unit. Why would you say that? Let's be honest, that hideous thing isn't worth five bucks. Wanna bet? Wanna bet? It takes a lot of talent to make the money I made. Well, you better have some awesome talents to earn some money because the only talent that your kitty cat has is giving someone pink eye or a UTI. How much did you charge anyway for that fistful of roast beef? Eighty five dollars. Eighty five dollars for like three minutes. Do you offer a group discount? <laughs> you seem really excited about that. I'm excited. I'm afraid to ask, but how excited are you? Flooded. Like, flooded. I think I just threw up in my mouth. To the attic you go. What the hell are you talking about? Attic. Boom. What the hell is the attic? Bing, bing. To the attic you go. <laughs> are you currently under the influence of any drugs or alcohol? I just started drinking beer. I had a stroke. I'm snorting Xanax. I'm on meth. I'm on heroin. How do you like that for being honest, bitches? Wait a minute. Are you the one who lied to your subscribers about having a stroke? I remember hearing about that story here around the office. Who the fuck do you think you are? You stupid, fat, disgusting bitch. Listen here, lady. I've been very patient with you so far, and you continue to insult me. I'm here to help you, and you have yet to make a valid reason for calling 911 emergency services. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You fucking piece of shit. Out of shape. Loser. Big ol' hot bag of air wind. Piece of shit. Woo! Clearly you need assistance from outside of the police or fire department. I have located three behavioral health facilities in your area and I'm willing to call them to see if we can get you some serious help right away. I'm having a brain thing. You know what that means, right? All I know is that after 12 minutes of talking to you, I know all that I need to know about you. The only two things that you do not know about me is my last pap smear Probably before penicillin was discovered. And my blood type. Syphilis. Now, you have speculated on a lot of things and you have been so wrong. Let me stop you right there and say that your problem is that you don't take any accountability for your actions. You don't take ownership of what happens to you as a result of your choices and actions. You blame others and make excuses. And you only ever attempt to make amends when you need something. People say I don't take accountability for my actions? No. I don't have to take accountability for these actions. Have you ever been diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder? I can't hear you. You've showed many signs of it just in this conversation. Attic. You've displayed physical aggression, hostility, and violence towards myself and others. I can't hear you. You clearly have shown reckless and impulsive behavior. To the attic you go. You seem to have no disregard for the law or social norms. I can't hear you. Clearly, you seem to feel angry, more powerful, or better than others. You've shown a history of using wit, flattery, and charm to manipulate, lie, or deceive others for your own personal gain and enjoyment. As I mentioned earlier, you refuse to take responsibility for your actions and behavior and you have rarely shown any remorse, regret, or concern for your behavior unless it gets your ignorant followers to send you some cash. You're a liar. I'm not an ass. You are a piece of shit. You habitually lie to your subscribers and they continue to bend over backwards for you. Why don't you bend it over and take it up your ass, bitch. Deuces. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator.